Hello guys and welcome back to our class here in Isai 123 your statics of rigid bodies and now we are on our last test topic for this semester Dimo <laughs> mingaw nako Well narana ninyo pero I'll be missing this uh, fun ng mga lectures nako char <laughs> usay kay dili jud fun kanang naro sa classroom mura stress jud nakaayo pero karon nalingaw ko kay nagawas-gawas ta and then uh, nice kayang mood nice kayang place so this will be our last lesson for this semester and uh, again i left you a question on how are we going to um, determine the moment of inertia of a composite body and again a composite body is composed of two or more shapes Okay? Sa anang atong area. Anang, anang atong area lang gihapon ng atong goal. So, that will be our goal for this lesson. To determine the moment of inertia of a composite body. Okay? So, basically, ang imo lang buhaton when you are determining the moment of inertia of a composite body, imo lang isam ang moment of inertias of those three ay two or more bodies. So, for example, body one, body two, and body three. Okay? And nangita ka sa moment of inertia, anang tulo ka bodies about a certain axis. Okay? So, to get the moment of inertia daw, of that three bodies, imo lang isam ang moment of inertia sa first body plus the moment of inertia of the second body and the moment of inertia of the third body then you can determine the moment of inertia of the composite body. So, ing ana lang. So, let's have an example. Diritso. Okay? So, I have here a composite body. This body is composed of a rectangle and hollow nga circle sa solod. Okay? And the goal of this problem is to determine the moment of inertia of this composite body about the x-axis. So, kibaw na ta sa moment of inertia sa rectangle about the centroidal axis, right? That is bh cube over 12. And, wala ta na kibaw sa moment of inertia sa atong circle. Pero, this is the moment of inertia sa atong circle about its centroidal axis. Centroid is equal to 1 over 4 pi r. Okay? So, this is your moment of inertia sa imong circle about the centroidal axis. Pi over 4 r to the 4. So, nga na. So, sige, let's do this. By applying parallel axis theorem to get your moment of inertia, about the x-axis, una ta sa rectangle. Again, moment of inertia of this one about the x-axis. And let's just say, na ang ato lang nahibawaan nga moment of inertia sa itong rectangle is katong bh cube over 12, which is mo itong moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. So that is, what is your base? 100, your height, 150 cube over 12. Diba? Maunang moment of inertia sa itong rectangle about the centroidal axis pa lang ni. But, ato na siya i-plus katong AD sub Y squared to get the moment of inertia about the bottom axis. Sige. Which is your A area 100 times 150 and your DY D sub Y squared Unsay distance ana from the centroid ani to the base that is 75 millimeters so therefore that is 75 millimeters squared wala pa ta human because this is sa imo pang rectangle so na patay circle so ato to plus dili na to i plus ngano man since this circle is a hollow nga circle man so, i-remove siya sa aning atong nga area dere. So, minus na siya. Okay? 
minus, okay, parallel axis theorem na pod. So, ang atong moment of inertia sa atong circle about the centroidal axis is, sa so to, pi over 4 r to the 4. So, therefore, pi over 4 times radius, which is 25 to the 4. Okay? And then, plus area. So, area sa circle, pi times 25 squared. Multiplied by the distance squared. That is still 75 squared. Sakto man nga pi r squared. Again, kani is the moment of inertia of your circle about the x-axis. x-axis, which is kani, dili ang centroidal axis. Ang centroidal axis, mora ni nga equation. Okay? So, therefore, your answer right here is just equal to 101 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeters to the 4th power. And that is how you get the moment of inertia of a composite body. Let's have another example para maka familiar pa mugamay. So for our last problem, we have to determine the moment of inertia of this composite beam about the x and y axis. Okay? So, so I'm going to Una ta sa ix. So, there is a tong composite beam. Majority of the problems, ato is solved by using parallel axis theorem. Okay? Timan ilang na. And let's imagine this is our first nga rectangle. Atong seka, uh, this is number one. Rectangle number one. Ang kaning yellow is rectangle number two. And third is rectangle number three. So this is two. Ah, no. This is three. And this is 2. Okay? So, mo nang order sa ito pag-solve. Sige, una ta sa rectangle 1. Since your rectangle 1 is located at the centroid na mandaan, so we don't have to use the parallel, parallel axis theorem. Nga ito lang gamiton is kantong BH cube over 12. Okay? So, the base is 600. Height is 10. Cube over 12. <laughs> so this is our rectangle number 1. Okay? Plus. So plus tatanan ka kay wala man tayo halo. Unless kung mo na atong tibok shape, niya atong minusan sa kanina mga shapes. We can still use that, but di lang ta na. Okay? So, dirita sa sunod. Kaning number 2. Okay, so pilay base ana that is 100 times height of So 400 ang gibutang dira pero mo apply siya sa 100 so that is 300 na lang. Cube over 12. Plus the area of that one which is 300 times 100 multiplied by the distance of the centroid padong dire. That is Diba? 300 mani. 300 ni nga length. Kani nga length. Nya divided by 2. So, 150. And then, kani is 50 man. Kay 100 divided by 2. So, that is 200. Ah. Squared. Okay? So, let's proceed. Sa last nga area. Which is basically... Symmetric raman sila sa isa. Kay pariha raman sila distance, di ba, from the x. Ang kani. Pwede rin na ito. It times 2. Pero ato lang buhatan kay kugihan man ko. So, that is 100b times 300 cube over 12. Plus 300 
times 100 times 200 gapon squared. So that is ng tong ix di ay is 2.9 times 10 to the 9 millimeters to the fourth power. The ko kayo no? Ako kay values bitaw ni kay ambot random ka ayo mga values. And last, dira ta sa IY. Still, we have to use the parallel axis theorem. So, una ta sa 1. That is b cube h over 12. So, 600 cube times height of 100 over 12. So, to plus the area which is 600 times 100 multiplied by ay wa na parallel axis theorem day ani kay centroidal axis naman ay diretso ang atong first nga area so plus oh diretso na lang ta ato lang ni times 2 kay parehas na sila values gyapon kay symmetric so therefore that is base of 100 cube times height of 300 over 12. Sakto? Plus the area of 100 times 300 times distance na po ani from the center of this one to this one. Diba nakibaw tang ang distance ani is 300. And then this is ang distance ani 50. So, 300 minus 50, that is 250 squared. So, therefore, we will have a value of your IY as 5.60 times 10 to the 9 millimeters to the 4th power. So, ganun lang kasi yung pag-solve sa atong moment of inertia for composite bodies. And if na pa yung if sa itong mga examples, we have bodies nga wala pa na ako na-discuss ang moment of inertia, then this is the moment of inertia of some common shapes about their centroidal axis. So basically, that's it sa atong statics of rigid bodies. And finally, we have already finished all the topics that we have discussed from the first day until this day. And I hope that I effectively discussed to you everything. Though I'm not the perfect teacher, right? Pero hinautunta nga, nakasabot mo sa atong mga lessons. Even though there's sometimes nga lisod ko ay sabot and uh, siguro sometimes nga lisod ang topic. But I hope that as a teacher, I have discussed and have really discussed to you and made it easier to you to understand the topics here in Statics of Rigid Bodies. And if you have uh, recommendations for me to improve my teaching, or the method of how I teach sa akong klase, then I will highly appreciate that one. And uh, thank you again for your time. Thank you for your support sa atong channel. <laughs> Currently, we are now 95 subscribers. <laughs> and, uh, and, salamat ka ay. Ganun po salamat mo ko, no? But anyway, Again, I hope nga nakasabot lang mo sa tanan na to lessons nga discuss sa aning atong statics of rigid bodies. And uh, first sem is already done. Yehey! And uh, naana po tay final exam sa so, sa mga sum, musunod nga adlaw. So, thank you for listening. I will miss you guys. And uh, siguro kung ganahan mo nga naapatay tour diri sa Biscad then I siguro hatag ko rin and uh, I miss you naton ta nga maka face to face na jud ta kay murag sod ka ayo ang classic karon and I know that 
you have struggled also sa inyong pagskwila, karon nga nag-online ta. Okay? And, uh, again, see you again around. Peace. <laughs> Bye.